Hey folks, Technivorous here. Today, the day has finally arrived to tell you all about this new filament that I've been playing with that Polymaker was kind enough to send me and I can finally reveal it to you. So we're going to go over this today. We're going to look at some of the specs, some of the pros and cons. Not that I really found any cons and there are some pretty interesting things that I want to take a look at. So stay with me and we'll check it out right now. Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivorous. Alright, so first things first, this is known as Polyterra. It is a new filament from Polymaker, and it is basically their take on going as green as possible. So this is supposed to be extremely biodegradable compared to other filaments, but also slightly stronger than your standard PLA. The first thing I want to get into is this packaging. You'll notice on the cardboard spool, yes, it is a cardboard spool, but it is a sturdy one, that it says this product plants one tree. I mean, that's a step in the right direction if you're trying to go green for sure. But there are some other interesting things on this spool, such as the standard data you find printed on most good spools, print temperature, bed temperature, things like that. But it also contains the weight of the spool by itself, which apparently is 200 grams. It says here negative 200 grams, and that is so you can weigh the spool and find out exactly how much you have left. Aside from that, it does also have a handy little guide that will help you approximate how much you have left by the 100 gram dose, basically, um, that you can use to kind of judge how much you have there. If you need to know exactly, you just weigh it and then subtract the 200 grams for the spool. And this, by the way, is a lovely color they're calling forest green. It is almost pastel. It's very, very light and very, very nice. As you can see, I've yet to open it. We're gonna open it up here in a minute and we're gonna do a live stream, a print of this model that I made. We'll talk more about that in a minute, but that's gonna be a separate video. For now, we are talking specifically about the release of this filament. It is now available today as of the 25th and let's take a closer look at this. This is the first pink filament that I have used. I gotta tell you, my daughter loves this stuff. It is called Candy, and it is a very, very nice, light pastel pink color. Very gorgeous, and you get some very nice prints with it. And you can see I did a couple of prints. I did do a, a little doorstop here to keep my cats out of the room while I'm recording videos. Hopefully it works, we'll find out. I did a couple of knobs for my Ender 3. Now those are test knobs, obviously it doesn't go with the color theme I have going on here but uh, everything so far that I've printed has come out really well and I did some testing with a pause at layer height to change to insert some magnets with this chest I've been making so as you can see here uh, there are a couple of lines through here now that is not the filament that is my pause script dialing in the retraction and all of that to ensure that it doesn't leave a gap there. So um, I have improved on that slightly, but today we're gonna be printing one of these chests without the magnets in it. So you can see just how well this filament performs. And that's gonna be a live stream video that's gonna be going on most of the day. So um, if you stick around to the end of this video, I will put a link up to that, but let's see what this chest does. So basically um, it's locked right now, but I have a handy key here. Just gonna make sure that I have it on the right place. And basically, you just slide it over here, if you can get it to go, and it unlocks it. So there's a little bolt in there that slides with the magnet, and that's how you lock it when it wants to work. Let's see here. Nope. There it goes, okay. So, among the things I'm working on are a way to mark the proper side of the magnet so I don't, I, I, that's what the problem is. If I don't grab it with the right side, and it is the, whoops, opposite side. It is the one with the strongest attraction, so you can find it, but it takes some fiddling. So um, that's not really a design error on here per se, it, so much is on here, I just need to mark that. But it also will tuck up under here and hide under here. Um, and then it basically 
you can put little things inside and then lock it away. You got a magic hide a key. So we're going to get to printing one of these in the forest screen. We're going to leave the magnets out so you can see the nice finish that it has because without these blemishes here, this is really a perfect, perfect model. It comes in four different pieces, the lid, the middle, and the bottom. And we'll get to that more in a little bit. But let's talk a little bit more about why we're here. This is the Polyterra and there are some other color options. So we can go over those really quick and see what else Polymaker has available. All right, so let's explore a little bit. This little bit of information that Polymaker sent out with the Polyterra. And there are a few things in here that I wanna show you, but first I said we'd look at the color choices. So these are the color options you're gonna have. It is running at $19.99 per spool, and that is a great deal to not just get a full spool of PLA, but to also plant a tree. Uh, the colors that they have are cotton white, charcoal black, fossil gray, sapphire blue, which I'm definitely going to have to try, forest green, which we have here, the lava red, savannah yellow, sunrise orange, lavender purple, and arctic teal. As you can see, most of the, or all of those are nature names. Um, and then they have the pastel colors, the candy, the mint, the peach, and the banana, which are food themed. And they are, I mean, that's quite a good selection to start off with. A little bit more about the Polyterra itself. They have some comparisons in strength to their own filament here. So comparing the Polyterra Light, or excuse me, the Polyterra PLA, Polylite, and Polymax, you can see the rigidity in the Polyterra is about the same as the Polymax, but the durability is a little bit less, uh, almost half. However, it is a lot stronger than their Polylite. PLA. So um, it is about as hard as the Polymax and twice as strong as the Polylite basically is what you're seeing in this graph here. So that's brilliant information as well. They have a little bit more information about the carbon footprint here and some interesting stuff. But one of the things that they'll tell you is that the entire spool itself is biodegradable as well as the box, which is nice. You can just have that stuff composted and done away with and they are apparently doing this by using a bio compound that they're blending with the PLAs. And I think that they've done a really good job of making a quality product that you're gonna at least wanna check out. I mean, this stuff is pretty nice. Again, they have some colors that I think I'm gonna be going back for the lavender and the sapphire blue. And on that note, if you'd like to check it out, I did put a link down below to Polymaker's website where you can get some of this for yourself. There is a discount code. You can get a little bit of a discount if you type that in. I will leave that right next to the link. And don't forget, guys, we're going to be printing in this all day, so make sure you check out my live stream. I'll put a link to that. It's scheduled for, I believe, 10 o'clock. And you can go ahead and just click this link up here in the corner and jump right on and wait for the show. We should be there ready to chat. We'll have some question answer sessions and basically just print a whole new one of these chess sets without the lines in it that were flawed because of the magnets that I put in. So uh, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Definitely check out this Polyterra PLA. There are some awesome colors and the quality so far has been outstanding even though I've yet to try the green. If you'd like to see the quality for yourself, definitely check out that live stream we're gonna have going on because it should be pretty interesting. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Pay no attention to the mess going on behind me. Pay more attention to the mess going on on my shirt. Check this out. Finally got the merch available. That's right, finally hit 10K, so the merch is finally here. Make sure you check out the Teespring merchandise bar below the video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because we have more videos coming your way. In fact, I've thrown a couple of suggestions, videos for you to watch on the screen right now. So go ahead and check those out. When you get done, don't forget to pop over and check out the merchandise. There's plenty of stuff to see. And thanks for watching, guys.